Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start creating this scratch card effect using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So here we can see we have these uh, rectangles over here, and if I drag over this area or if I scratch over this area, we can see that the code is revealed. So we're gonna see how to create this using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in this tutorial series. And you can go ahead and pass different colors to these cards in the JavaScript. And you can get the cards with those colors over here. Now in this video, we will create the design using HTML and CSS. And in the next video, we will add the functionality using JavaScript. So let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called scratch card and I just opened it with VS Code. Now let's go ahead and create the necessary files. So let's click on new file. And let's create a new file called index.html. And let's also create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css. And let's also create a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. And let's start with the index.html file. So in VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab, and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And here in the head section, I'll just link the CSS file. So I'll just type link and press tab. And here in the HTML, I'll just type style.css. And here in the body, let's uh, link the JavaScript file. So I'll just type script, colon src, and press tab. And here I'll just type main.js. Right now, let's start with the markup of our design. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division. So I'll just give it a class of main container. Now, in this, we need to have this uh, main heading. So let's create an h2 for that. And uh, let's give it a class of main heading. And uh, here, let's add the heading. So I'll just type scratch to view code right now the next thing we will do is we'll create this heading over here so let's create an s3 and let's add this text over here so i'll just copy this and let's paste it over here and after this s3 we need to create this scratch card so let's create a division and let's give it a class of scratch container And in this, uh, let's create another division and let's give it a class of scratch card. And here in this division, let's create a division with a class of code and let's add the code in here. So let's copy the code from here. And I'll just paste it over here. Right now, we need to create a canvas so that we can add this scratching effect over here using JavaScript. So let's create a canvas and uh, let's give it an ID. And uh, let's set the ID to scratch card one. And we'll set the width and the height of the canvas. And uh, let's set it to 300 for the width. And for the height, let's set it to 100. Right now, let's copy all of this. So we'll copy from this heading till here. And uh, let's copy it two more times. And uh, here for the second one, let's uh, add this heading. So I'll just copy this. And uh, let's paste it over here. And for the second code, let's add this code right here. And let's paste it over here. And then for this canvas, let's give it an ID of scratch card 2. And then for the third one, let's go ahead and copy this heading. And let's paste it over here. And let's go ahead and copy this code from here. And let's paste it over here and uh, let's change this ID to scratch card three. All right, so that's basically it with the HTML of our design. And let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you have this installed, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And now we can see that our design is displayed in the browser. Now let's go ahead and start with the styling. So let's go to the styler CSS file and first of all, let's target the body. And let's set the font family to Montserrat sans serif. And now let's go ahead and target the main container, which is this division right here. So let's type dot main container. And for this, let's give it a padding of 24 pixels top and bottom and 16 pixels left and right. And now let's target the main heading. So for the main heading, we have an h2 with a class of main heading. So here let's tap h2.main heading. 
and uh, first of all let's set a border left and let's set it to 4 pixels and uh, solid and for the color let's type FF4460 and uh, let's add a padding and let's set the padding to 8 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and let's set the margin top to 0 and let's add a margin bottom and let's set it to 42 pixels right now let's style this heading so this is an s3 so let's go ahead and type main container s3 and let's set the font weight to normal right now let's style the scratch container which is this division right here so let's type scratch container and let's set the width to 300 pixels and uh, let's set the height to 100 pixels. Let's add a background color and let's see whether the width and the height is being added. So I'll just add light blue color. Right now let's add rounded corners. So I'll just add border radius and let's set it to 10 pixels. Now let's go ahead and add a margin bottom. And uh, let's set the value to 32 pixels. Right now let's go ahead and style this scratch card division right here. So let's go ahead and create a selector for that. So I'll just type scratch card. And we'll just position this scratch card division relative to this scratch container. So here I'll just set the position to relative. And here let's type position absolute. And we need to set the left, right, top and bottom values to zero so that it has the full width and height of the container. So for that we can just type inset to zero so now if you go ahead and add a background color we can see that it has the full width and height of the container and the border radius is not being added over here so for that you have to type overflow of hidden over here in the container so let's type overflow hidden and now we can see we have the rounded corners right so let's go ahead and remove this background color but now we need to bring this code to the center of this division so let's set the display to grid and let's tap place items center and let's go ahead and set the font size and let's set it to 24 pixels and let's set the font weight so let's set the font weight to bold and let's add some letter spacing so letter spacing value will be set to 2 pixels and when we hover over this we will have a different cursor so for that let's tap cursor and we'll set the value to grabbing and now we can see we have this cursor when we hold over this uh, scratch card and i think with that we have completed designing our scratch card page right here now in the next video i'll show you how to add the functionality of this scratch card using javascript right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.